Welcome, I'm Ernie Goss, research faculty member here at the Craig School of Business at California State University in Fresno, in, in beautiful Fresno, California. Here I am on the first business day of the month, this first business day of November, to report on our results for the month of October for the four county area. That's the four county metropolitan area, what we call the San Joaquin Valley Economic Indicator. Now what did it tell us for the month? The overall index was above growth neutral, that's 50.0. The index spans ranges between 0 and 100. 50 is growth neutral, above 50 is growth positive. Above growth positive, uh, in growth positive territory for the 23rd straight month. That's very good. But the index did drop, did drop from 55 last month down to 52.8. So ever so slightly above growth neutral. And much like the national number, it's moving down. And that's a bit, I won't say troubling, but it's certainly indicating that growth is going to be cooling. Now this area, according to data from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, grew, in, the employment grew 3.2%, that's year over year. That's very strong, that's well above the national number, that's well above other parts of California, and well, well above other regions of the nation. Construction is weakening, unfortunately, and that's, that's somewhat troubling, we're seeing that. Manufacturing in the area is being hurt by a strong dollar, which makes manufactured uh, goods sold abroad less competitively priced. That's something we have to watch out for. That's an issue for the San Joaquin Valley. Uh, and so here I'll show you and I'll bring up the, uh, the overall chart for the, for the last, since June of 2014 to October of 2015. And you look at that and you look in, in blue, you see the U.S. number and boy is it signaling and moving down. And likewise, you see the uh, San Joaquin Valley number also moving in a, I won't say in a negative direction, just moving lower and I'm really troubled about that. We need to be watching these numbers in the weeks and months ahead. The inflation number moved up, but still below growth neutral, moved up from 46.8 in September to 49.9 in October. That's a real big issue because we're seeing disinflation or inflation coming down. That's a real problem in terms of what the Federal Reserve sees. They're troubled by that and afraid it might move into deflation. Not yet. Exports slumped for the month down to 40.1 from September's 42.4. As I said, exports are real areas. The dollar has been very strong, and that makes it more difficult to sell abroad. Now, what to watch for next month? And that's uh, keep an eye on, uh, I, I, I said next month, that is actually this month, November, and December as well. Uh, watch on November the 6th, that's this Friday, we'll see the employment report. When that comes out, very important. The national number has been trimming downward. If it should move even lower, that's a real problem, indicating this economy is slowing down and that, that we've got to keep an eye on that. What else to watch for? The core CPI, which comes out on November the 17th, that's for October. Watch that number. It's about 1.3% year over year. That's the core, which excludes food and energy. That's the uh, consumer price index. That number moving lower, and why is it a problem? You say, well, lower inflation, that's good for me. Well, not really. It's uh, the Fed, the Federal Reserve, is concerned that that's indicating this global economy and the U.S. economy is not only coming down, but potentially into a recession. That's their concern. Keep an eye on the PMIs. Now, that's the number that we showed you. That's, uh, uh, these numbers are called purchasing management indices. And keep an eye on the U.S. number that comes out later on this morning. That would be Monday morning, November the 2nd. Keep an eye on that one. And I think it may move below growth neutral this time, and it's, it's been moving in that direction, big issue. And for December, watch that as well. Now, what are the risks? In other words, if, if, if thing, what is, should you be keep an eye, keeping an eye on in terms of raising the risk of slower growth, uh, unwanted economic outcomes? The Fed statements. The Federal Reserve, I mean, for goodness sakes, here are uh, mostly economists, there are some lawyers among them, and who couldn't side with lawyers and economists? What could go wrong there? <laughs> Lots could go wrong. They keep fumbling along, they keep making uh, misstatements, they keep, they, they are leading to this large degree of uncertainty. Last time they met, they said, sort of indicated they were gonna raise rates on, uh, in December. Well, go ahead and say it. Be more firm. They're not being firm, so it's a lot of uncertainty. 
Disinflation, keep an eye on the 10-year treasury. That, that tends to, or it not tends to, it folds in inflation. So when it comes down, it indicates inflationary pressures, at least to some degree, are coming down. And finally, the Eurozone again. We're hearing more and more, now we're hearing about more about Greece again. Greece and Portugal, for goodness sakes. Those are two troubled areas, meaning you could see some uh, economic eruptions in Europe that spill over into the U.S., and that's not good. Well, that's it, folks. That's our report for the month of October here on the first business day of November. That's November the 2nd, uh, Monday. And thank you for tuning in. It's, it was a pretty good report, but there, it's less uh, pretty good than last month's even better report. So things are at least pointing to slower growth, but still positive growth for the four county area, the San Joaquin Valley, our San Joaquin economic indicator still above growth uh, neutral, so that's good. So until we meet again, that would be the first business day of December. May your economic cup runneth over and thank you. <music>